Hey, this video is going to help you with this website on how to do a Nova online without using SPSS. So first of all, we have a data set and our first question that we're going to ask is, does our studied affect your stat score? With the idea being, we would assume that if you study more, that you're going to do better. We'll see. Step one is to copy these into a new tab within Excel, and then we need to organize them. There is another video that explains exactly how to do this, but essentially we're going to sort both of these. So data sort, we are going to sort all of our data by our studied, and we have everything at this point grouped by one, two, three, four, there are five groups. I'm going to grab number one, and I'm interested in their stat scores. So I'm just going to copy this up here into a new group. So this is group number one. I'm gonna have another one that's group number two, group number three, and all the way to five. So we're gonna get all of our groups. That's what we need to do to start. There's a whole other video that explains this, so I'm gonna skip it. When we get to this website, it is very wordy. There's all kinds of information here. Our first decision is K. All K means is how many treatments do you have? How many groups do you have? In our case, we have five groups. We can see here, so we are going to say K equals five. We are going to hit calculate once we have all of our different groups in. So all I did here is sample A, that's gonna be my group one, and I'm going to copy all of these guys for group one over into this column right here. So I copied all of my information over for all five groups. I'm going to hit this magic button. It's going to give me all of my statistics that I need. The first thing that we see right here, this is just all of our data. That just shows you everything that you put in. We can also see really quickly that our data groups are not equal. That group D, so our number four group, has a lot more sample we have a lot more participants that fall into that category. ANOVA can handle this. We don't have to have equal groups, just an FYI. Here's all of our descriptives. So we have our observation, that is our N for all five groups. And again, we can see that D has 99 versus A only has 45. Here are the means. So you're going to need that for your APA table. Um, round to two decimal places. Here are our standard deviations. And then we're going to scroll down, and this is our ANOVA table. So our first thing that we want to look at is the F statistic and our P value. And our P value in this case is significant. There are five zeros before that seven. So this P value would be 0 0.0000775. Or how we would report that per APA is P equals less than, or P is less than 0 0.001. In fact, full APA is going to be F open parentheses, degrees freedom four, comma, degrees freedom 288, close parentheses, equals 6.25, comma, p-value is less than 0 0.001. There is a write-up example that you can check out later. Oh, look, it tells us this right here, too. Our p-value is lo lower than 0 0.05, so assuming 95% confident, that says that at least one of our treatments, at least one of our groups is different from another group. But, ANOVA won't tell us which one. We have to use a post hoc test. In this case, we're going to use two keys. It's just a very standard test, and for this assignment, and these assignments, we're just going to use two keys. So we're going to scroll down, scroll down, you can read that if you'd like. And here are our results from the two keys test. This is saying exactly which groups and all the comparisons. So A versus B is not significant but we can scroll down to the green one. So in this case, A versus D is significant. Going back to our data, our study, this would be A, B, C, D, and E, how I put them in. So A studying, I'm sorry, that's hours worked. <laughs> so A studying zero to five hours is significantly different than those who studied 15 to about 20 hours a week. These two groups, this one, and this one are significantly different from each other. So it's just going in through it and it's showing us that. And we would report that P, P less than 0 0.01.
to know who's higher, A or D, we're going to go all the way back up here to our means. And we're going to look at our mean of A and our mean of D. So D is lower than A. And that's how we're going to report all of our directions through this website.